Hey Junk Monkey friends, it's Sonya and Matt from Junk Monkey Paint Company coming to you live from our shop today in Ligonier, Pennsylvania, just south of Pittsburgh. How's everybody out there doing? It was a gorgeous day here in the Laurel Highlands. I mean, I don't know how hot it got up, but it was so hot, it was like ridiculously hot. It was awesome. This is like the second day of what we feel is summer. We've kind of gone from winter, fast forward, right into hot weather. Um, but yeah, you know when you're like, you have those days of when you're in the cold and you're in the weather and you're like, I will slap somebody if, you know, we get to the point where it's uh, hot and people are complaining. So I've just got to remember, we've gone through all those snowy days and now we've got the beautiful sunshine. So what is that big ball of light in the sky? So we are here on day four, right? It is day four of our paint challenge. Let's say paint a piece of furniture. But sometimes it's all kinds of odds and ends that we paint here, right? We love to give you guys different ideas. Of course, you know here on our Facebook page that we always do free paint tutorials for you guys. We always say inspiration is free, right? So it is day four. I'm happy that you guys are with me today. I want to introduce my guest, which I said last night that Matt also found, okay? So he's done a good job. This is a second piece right here. $4.99, I kept the tag on so you guys can see it. $4.99, so that is in the wheelhouse of how I like the shop, right? And if I can get something for like $10 or less, heck yeah, load it up. I will find a place for it. And when the husband says, what the heck are you gonna do with that? I'll be like, I got this, don't worry about it, I got this, right? So this is a fun piece that he's got at Goodwill. We're gonna go ahead and give it a makeover today. So we are all ready to go. Just anytime you need a clean piece, clean it with what I would recommend is crud cutter because it doesn't create a film. It doesn't make a uh, resist to paint or anything like that. So sometimes people think that when you start with furniture, like what do I clean it with? Just don't use anything soapy, right? So crud cutter is an amazing painter's friend. It literally says painter's friend on the bottle um, and you can get it at your local, um, like local hardware stores, that sort of thing. So we're gonna go ahead, get started. I even tonight took out a fresh apron, okay? A fresh apron. So, uh, you know, tonight, here's a night of new beginnings. Um, my paint, my last one was completely paint covered, right? Lots of history. So we're going to make some new history tonight. I just put up 10 of these, the last 10 that I have on the website at jumpmonkeypaint.com. So if you two want to have one, go over there and grab one. I like this style of apron because when I paint, I don't want anything that's long. I don't want anything that makes me feel constricted because true painters want to be creative and be able to get into the flow, right? It has these awesome big pockets and that's where I store all my stuff, like my paint openers my lip balm, you know, rags, all that goodness, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I have a color tonight called Smoky Coal. So true story, a lot of you guys have been messaging us saying, when is Smoky Coal gone from your website? Will it be back? And I'm like, yep, give it a couple weeks, it'll be back, and it is now back on the website. So if you two love Smoky Coal, it is now on the website, okay? And this is an amazing gray color, and I'll talk to you a little bit more about that as I get it opened. But Matt, if you want to tell us, who is with us tonight? Hey, everybody's with us tonight. Everybody! Oh, I love to hear that. <laughs> oh, look at this yumminess. We're going to start with a fresh, new. Do you see how that, be that beautiful gray? I just love it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get my brush ready. You do some shout outs. Anybody I, I know on here tonight? Thinking, yes, I just got to get a whole way back. Okay, you do that. I'll start painting. Robin Miller's on from Scottsdale. We know Robin. CC Fry Adams. Pam Lesman. Trish Mercer. Lucas Eck. Gaylene Cole is checking in from New Zealand. Erna Patton is watching. Hey, Erna. Dana Weber Johnson. Janet Young Lloyded. Karen uh, K. Joel. Uh, Anna Pranky's on. Beverly's on. Uh, Terry Bradley Smith, your old buddy back from the. Uh, in Chiron State, yeah. uh, Joanna Holbrook, Angela Colvin Keen, Pam Elrod, Katie Reed. How do you get black paint to stay on, on glasses for chalkboard? Uh, you can answer that one, Sonny Bay. Sure. Do you want to keep doing shout outs and we'll go back to that one? Well, let's answer the question first. <laughs> okay, read it to like, me again. How do you, you know get how black paint? shout outs? So I'm not going to be able to get to everybody. How, how, what was your question? How do you get black paint to stick on glass? How do you get glass? it to stay, I guess, yes. On glass? I just use our black velvet. Um, I say our chalky paint sticks to pretty much everything under the sun, including glass. And so I just use black velvet in our chalky style original recipe, which is what I'm using tonight, only it's in smoky coal. Um, and then you go ahead and you put it down, right? So you just lay it over, you just paint it on the glass. It's really, really easy. Really, really easy. And are you doing mason jars? Or did she say she's like doing mason jars? I think she's or... just doing chalkboard on glass. So oh, yeah, yeah. Work. Lay down your first layer. You're going to want to do multiple layers, right? So you get a nice base. Um, so, yeah, do your first layer first. 
let that dry. It's always nice um, if you can leave that first layer, especially for somebody who's gonna use it as a chalkboard, right? They're gonna be banging on it. So um, leave that first layer to dry, like maybe overnight, and really do its thing to suck into the, the really glass pores. And then come back the next day and do two or three coats on top of it. That will give you a nice base for your chalkboard. And then well, just don't seal. Donna's checking in from the Gold Coast of Australia. Ooh, wow. Speaking of Australia, where's our Australian men? I don't know. I mean, has anybody seen Louisa? She Did just she got hear? back from Paris. I know she's in Paris, but I, I haven't heard from her. So I, just I know that. she's back. She was in the, uh, you know, France, the, the language of love. <laughs> so, the last anyway. thing she was thinking about was painting. Yeah, or us. <laughs> so. She was probably breaking bread with some, like, French guy. On, you know, I don't know, on a boat, on a gondola somewhere, all right? So last thing she's thinking gondola? about. Yeah, I don't That's know. That's Venice. Really. I don't know. I was coming up. I was thinking uh, off the top of my head, okay? I'm sure uh, they have boats in Paris, though. Joanna Holbrook says she just seen her. Okay, all right. Tell her she needs to check in. She hasn't called mom or dad. <laughs> so, uh, Ginger's checking in from Akron, Ohio. We just rolled through Akron, Ohio. Yeah, the other we did, day, right? You know? Yep. So, Teresa's checking in from Joplin, Missouri. So... Oh, uh, people are sharing, so I guess uh, you guys want free stuff, huh? So, yeah. uh, what's, uh, what's available for tonight? free stuff tonight? All right, let me see here. Well, maybe I shouldn't touch it because I've got some paint on my hands. But right over here. Do you see it? Do you see it? Head wraps. There you go. I am giving up tonight one of my famous, internet made famous head wraps. And uh, to one lucky person. And it's in spring design, okay? So we can be twinning. So that's what we're gonna give away tonight for one lucky person. All you have to do is share this video, stay on uh, till the very end. Matt's gonna holler out one lucky person, one random person who was chatty with us tonight and shared, just hung out with us. And then we ask you to do one thing and one thing only. What do you guys think it is? Oh, well. Who well, knows what it is? Well, Tina's in Paris, Tennessee. You have to email us at junkmonkeypaint at gmail.com before midnight Eastern Standard Time, right? That's what you have to do. That's what you have to do. That's the place you have to email. We will find you, and we will take care of you from there, okay? Sound good? So, anyway, um, how is this gray different from other grays? It is like a brown gray. You got it. I taught you well. I totally taught you well. So, for somebody out there, let me... Oh, it just gets me excited to, to, to like, for people who don't realize this. This, You're weird. this could be groundbreaking for somebody, okay, babe? Listen, not all grays are created equal. Have you ever seen grays that are like lavender grays? You know, like, you know, you guys might be familiar with a color we had called um, Fuzzy Blanket. It's like a lavender gray. There's blue grays out there, which are a little, more, are a little bit more colder, right? Um, all kinds of different families of grays. And so this is the gray that we have that is so popular because it's for all of you out there that, you know, maybe you have a warm house, meaning that maybe you have browns in your house. If you paired a cold gray with browns in your house, you're going to be like, ugh, it just does not blend in. It just doesn't make me feel right. It doesn't look, give me the right vibe. But when you use a brown gray in a space where you have browns going down, but you also want to give a little bit of a modern edge because, you, you know, gray is really nice and modern. It could be like a farmhouse modern. This is when you pick up this kind of gray, okay? And that's when it blends in. Ooh, that's when it blends in so <laughs> nice. So Matt was correct. This is a brown base gray. And it's so yummy. This actually is one of our most popular colors that you guys love. Who out there has painted with it before? Tell us if you have and if you love it as much as us. I'm going to go ahead and just put this all over tonight. You didn't, you saw what I did, right? Which was really nothing. So yeah, you can, uh, dusting is optional. Then just pick up a brush and go bananas all over your piece. So we all have stools. We all have furniture around the house, but you know, a lot of us have like stools, right? And it could be so pretty because if you have a, like an eat-in breakfast area, um, you know, that sort of thing where it's in your kitchen and you have a few stools, put a pop of color on them, do something different with them. And a lot of times they get worn, right? So don't forget about them because even though they're not a dresser or a buffet or some like big piece like that, they could still have the perfect punch of color, right? Like, oh, whatever color you want to put on it, like teal, whatever. Oh, beautiful. And then you could do them even in different colors. So maybe like, you know, one uh, red apple and one teal river or bring a Bahama Jade, whatever the colors are that make you happy. 
This gray is called Smoky Coal. Yep, yeah, it has just been added back on our website this week. And everybody went crazy when we took it off. But it's back. It's back with a vengeance. Yes. Heck yeah. Yes. So I didn't have to prime or sand or strip this piece, um, which made it really easy. This is always my like my, my least favorite things of things to paint is chairs and stools because they have so many sides to them. I always laugh at the people that when I have um, like you know bring your own piece of furniture paint nights inside I'm chuckling when they come through the door and they're bringing in chairs because I'm just thinking mm -hmm. those are like can anybody attest to that that chairs are one of those things that man they are a pain in the butt to paint okay it's because you know there's just so many parts to them you look from one side and you're like how did I miss that so you never really feel like you're finished with it you sound like you're gonna say something I was uh, oh yeah yeah uh, Susan Malomans mm -hmm. asked where do you buy that brush you buy it from us silly <laughs> <laughs> but yes. here's the deal they're all handmade in Holland Holland isn't that weird yes uh, so you have to Somebody's wait till they get what the here. heck you what you mean by Austin Powers yes yes Gold I love me some Austin yes. Powers. Yes, I love gold. Come on, yeah. somebody shape, knows shape. what we're talking about. Or we could be on an shape, entire shape. an island ourselves, and nobody knows a clue. But I bet our following knows what the heck we're talking about, right? Somebody would you sand up. it if it had dings and scratches? Nope. No. For me, I love me some shabby, distressed, time worn, and I'm going to tell you. You know as well as I do that these chairs take or these stools take a beating because people put their feet on them. They put you know, their butt on yeah, them. they just get you know they get a lot of you know a lot of traffic. So any time <laughs> that you can put, um, you know, any time that you can put some distress marks in it, you're gonna actually love your piece longer because you're already giving your piece that time worn look. So as they start to, yeah. as things start to wear and tear, it's gonna feel more natural and there's gonna be probably things that will happen to it that you won't even realize because it just looks the part, right? So I love a little distressing in something because let's be honest, right? You're probably feeling a little tired and worn yourself right now. That happens to everything. So um, yeah, do a little distressing. Way to go. And Ther those dents and dings give, give it character. Teresa gets it. She gets it? A schmuck in a pancake. Oh my gosh, I forgot that, yeah. A blitz and a bum? <laughs> uh. Fine. You don't want my harsh fatality? <laughs> Too funny. Uh, 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 I haven't seen that. Anybody seen any good movies lately? Uh, you have to tell us about it. So I can go home and keep Matt up tonight and watch some really please good Please tell movies. us how to take care, care of the Klingon brushes. Sure. Well, I told you last night, but I will tell you again. It's super easy. So this brush is amazing, and it's very different from any other brush that I've ever painted with, and probably with like you as well. Um, but the biggest thing about it is actually considered a wet brush, meaning that you keep it in water, okay? That's how you keep it healthy. It's like watering a plant, okay? You gotta keep this bad boy in water. And as long as you don't scratch it right here, this is actually made to be rust resistant. So all you do is when you're finished painting, drop it back into water. You wanna make sure that it's submerged up so all the, you know, the brush hairs are all completely Completely, um, covered in water and then you just leave it sitting there okay when you're not using it so for me um, mine actually sits here in our studio in the bathroom because my bathroom sink is a painter's sink so I sit it next to the sink and it stays there um, you, but you want to make sure that it stays off the bottom okay for me I use mine a lot so I'm always fishing it out putting it back in but if you're somebody that doesn't paint a whole lot you just want to make sure that it always has clean water in there you know change it out every little bit um, but you want to make sure that it's suspended off the bottom because what you don't want to have happen is that it stands up for so long because this is a heavier brush right it's completely built different for a professional painter um, so you don't what you don't want to have happen is at the bottom to actually start to curve on you right so your goal is to put it in like a tall mason jar or something like that a container and maybe put a clip around the top something that keeps the mouth of it um, from like you know keeps this area big and wide so it doesn't fall all the way down into the jar right so a cheap uh, chip clip works perfectly on that and then you keep it in, in water so you know when I'm done here I drop it back in water I go back in the bathroom I'm gonna rinse it um, under the sink I'm gonna use my brush cleaner that I have they're on the website as well they're five bucks goes a long long way we have a little white lie it's five bucks a bar and ten dollars a bar for the big fat lie those are amazing brush cleaners and keeps your brushes healthy they condition um, you know helps even with the wax brush to be able to keep all the bristles all nice and conditioned as well and then I just drop it right back down into the water and I let it sit there until I'm ready to go with it again right 
So it keeps staring at me like, have take me ever, out, play with Abby, me. This question's for me. Have you ever broke any furniture when transporting it? Are you kidding me? I have never broke anything. <laughs> Who did that life. come in from? That's come from Leslie Stahl. Leslie! <laughs> Inside joke. We set you up. <laughs> She's a good student. Let me just tell you that, right? Absolutely. Leslie is in my Coach and Create uh, club behind the scenes. Really? Were you talking pre- about me behind my back? Dude, I would never talk about you behind your back. Mm-hmm. So and it was all good things. Were your ears burning? Yeah. So I was telling them about my the dying. time. Yeah, I was telling them about the time. You know, uh, somebody in the Coach and Create group, which I'll tell you about that in a second, what that is. So if anybody's wondering, but. Um, we, you know, if you ever get pieces, somebody had posted that they received this big, long, um, like buffet dresser and a bunch of the drawers had been uh, missing from it. And they said, you know, what can I do with this? And babe, it was the very same one. Do you remember when we took the turn? No, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Where she told you was lies. Let me just get to the lies. end result. Make sure you take your drawers out because you will be making turns with the thing in the back of your vehicle. Okay. Turns that might mean that drawers slide out, fall over the back side of your truck, land on the road, and cr- crush into pieces that look like kindling that should be used to start I, a fire. I have no idea what you're talking okay? about. Okay? So lying. I want to see what you would say, right? She's lying. But yeah, do you remember we took this long drive in this She's backwoods lying. and you're like, Sonia, like, do you even know where we're going? Because, you know, this, this is look, looking a little shady now, all right? Because we had, like, it was like we were finished driving on pavement. We were in the backwoods, and we just went for miles and miles. We had no idea where the heck we were going to end up. And when Matt starts looking at me, you know, Matt's a Marine, okay? So when Matt starts looking at me as a Marine going, questioning whether or not we should be back in these areas of the deep, dark woods of Pennsylvania, where then I, I then I begin to wonder myself, like, is this a very good life decision right now? And... I love this buffet, but is this really worth my life? Or will anybody ever see me again? Because at this point, I have no cell phone service. And nobody knows where I am, right? You get inside here and on the bottom down there. Yes, this Good is job, one man. coat so Redeem far. Yourself. Yes, one coat. Um, so anyway, we picked it up. But yeah, we lost the drawers. So what I ended up doing was painting the insides. Um, just dark black to kind of like create shadow and cavities inside here. And uh, then put baskets into it, and uh, somebody came and loved it. It was perfect for an entertainment stand for them, right? And they purchased it and took it home, and we were happy. But behind the scenes, it didn't start off that way, right? So it's the whole thing of uh, when life hands you lemons, you make lemonade, right? And then you say to your husband, what the heck? (laughs) Oh, yeah. Funny now, not so funny then when it happened. You know what I'm saying? It was that kind of day, right? The day that makes you want to cry. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. For helping me tag team it. Mm -hmm. Q, beans. All right. I'm loving this. I'm trying to think what I might want to do with the top of it, to be honest with you. Um, In the way that I painted this up like this, because I could totally do the top a different color, right? We could do that. Oh, we could. mm, mm, I got ideas. I got ideas. We'll see here. Just a moment. So if anybody has any questions, feel free to holler them out. I'm Sonia. This is Matt. For anybody that's new that's joining us, we love to give free paint lessons Paint lessons here on Jug Monkey Paint Company's Facebook page. We love to hang out with you guys um, and help you out. And, you know, inspiration is always free, as we say. So hopefully right now somebody is thinking that what they're going to do is get some paint and really cheaply give a complete makeover and what feels like a big difference to their kitchen just by jazzing up some, uh, you know, some little things like this. I know, this. I know. I, yeah, I see it too. <laughs> you people, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> Under the talk wrong too. It's coming along. Now, what did I tell you in the very beginning? What, what? did I tell you in the very beginning? What? I said that stools and chairs are one of those things Linda, that Linda. you never feel like they're finished painting because Ooh. you turn them and then it's like, how did I miss that spot? So anyway, Linda, you guys have to be my eyes. Linda, 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 Linda. Hey, Linda. Linda, 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 Linda. Uh, are you putting the headbands on your site for sale? Yes, we are. Oh, uh, you so just totally, like, ruined that. What? Were you going to pretend we weren't? No, we, 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 we're we going to announce it, that we have... We don't coming, have them yet. Yeah, they're coming. 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 We've said that before. Coming soon, yeah, but they're Junk Monkey headbands. Heck yeah. Junk Monkey brand headbands. You got it. Some fun and funky designs. 
Yeah. So if you like color, you'll like these. But today we are giving away one of my famous head wraps that you guys know I love to wear. So I'm sharing my stash with you tonight. Head wraps, headbands. No, there you go. Whatever you want to call it, it's whatever strikes your fancy. These lovely things. Uh, and this one is done in a beautiful spring print because if we all wear spring um, attire, then the sun will come out and stay out, okay? So mm -hmm. this is day two here in Pennsylvania of sunshine. And I just think we should celebrate it and, you know, just enjoy it for what it is. Mm -hmm. Which, by the way, I have to give it a shout out. I don't know if she's on here with us tonight because I know they were sightseeing. But Linda is in. She came in with her husband all the way from the Jersey Shore to be able to hang with us this weekend here at Ligonier, Pennsylvania. She came in. I enjoyed um, getting to meet her yesterday. We hung out and uh, we got a chance to eat lunch together and breakfast together. So we had we, we broke waffles together today. It was awesome. So if she's on here, I just want to give her a big shout out um, because that was so awesome that you trekked in to be able to see us. Yay! So hopefully you had a great stay. I know they're heading out tomorrow. Um, so just want to wish you guys safe travels. Yes. Back to the Jersey Shore. We were I talking have, about I have Pink short May hair and need a jump monkey hat. We haven't got to the hat. Oh, we but it's no good. chapeaus yet. As this starts to dry, I'm just kind of like going over it again in some areas. This paint dries really fast. For those of you who have oh, used your it, room right here. Okay. For those of you who have used it, it doesn't take a whole long uh, time for it to dry. So honestly, um, before I even get to the top, I figured I'd just go ahead and keep working um, to give it a little bit of second pounces of color but you know me I'm gonna do a distressed fashion so I'm looking to get color all over maybe in some areas to look like it has more than others we have a uh, retailer in Fred Fredericksburg Merritt Frederick, Merit. Frederick, Frederick wherever Fort Meade is <laughs> that's where that's where our Mar Maryland retailer is You're right funny. now however we do have uh, we might be uh, Entering the Salisbury uh, Ocean City market as well. So. Heck yeah. So there you go. Do you sell your junk monkey bags? We do, but we're out of them right now. Yep, we're completely out. We mm. have 10 aprons left. As I said at the beginning, I ordered a new stash of aprons. You're down to 10 million left. So if you would like a lovely apron, I love my aprons. I have them in this style. There you go, Wanda. Yeah, just sell your for stuff. us as painters. So, I am a kick. I've never been called a kick. I've been called worse, but I've never been called a kick. I guess that's okay. Right All here, right, right up this bottom rung. Bottom rung. Bottom rung, yep, on the very bottom. It. You see it? Yep. See it? Get it. I see it, I see it, I see it, I see it, I see it. I'm on it. Oh, right here too. Look. Boom, all over this one here. Okay. On this side. Thank you. Yeah, when you flip around, you'll see it. Hello. It's like the gift that keeps on giving. At Fort Meade, actually, um... <laughs> uh, Where'd you see that too? Well, Fort Meade is where all the biological stuff goes on. I have friends that are scientists at Fort Meade. Here. Underneath. I think I got that one. No, there's one right here somewhere. I got it. It was right here. Did you get it? Yeah. All right. We're good. We're good. Uh, We're good. Turn it upside down. Worst case scenario, we get to the very end and we go, oh, we just distress a little bit more and play with it, right? Your apron Listen. looks way too clean, yes. I know. Did you hear what I said? Yeah. Tonight, on. new beginnings, right? New beginnings. This is what they look like when they're not paint covered. Let me just say, there's a lot of history that goes on, okay, in a paint covered apron. Um, but yeah, loving my aprons. All right. I have to good. say, we have the best last, hyphenated last name i ever seen. What's that? She, she could be a character in the SpongeBob movie. Kayla, yeah. oyster, yeah. mackerel. <laughs> that's a good one. I that, like it. That's one, yeah. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, hey, I'm an ocean lover, so I would totally take that name. <laughs> All right. I'm trying to think for a second here what I want to do with this piece, right? Because do you guys think I should go different color up here? Yes, they were saying do red. You know do what I'm a, saying, right? Yeah, they are saying do red. You know how I saw Thank that you, anchor last night in the book, in my stencil book? Yes. I'm really thinking I could put, do the anchor stencil on here. What do you guys think, right? And so now I'm trying to decide. We still use chip two brushes, tones, yes. Two tones, right? Two yes. tones. We still Let's use, do it. Yeah, we still use the chip brushes. Uh, Kayla says, laughed out loud, married ma uh, maiden, married name. Well, <laughs> I don't know about an oyster and mackerel. I thought interspecies relationships were illegal. <laughs> but uh, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. He knows a lot about the ocean because he married me, right? A girl yes. from the island. They're saying teal and salmon color. I guess we're... Uh, teal and 
teal and salmon color. Yeah, either salmon color. All right, give me teal. a second. Let me wash my brush because I'm going to switch to a different color. Okay. I'll be right oh. back. Ocean bluish. It's okay. starting to take a uh, nautical theme all of a sudden. Mermaid okay. tail. Uh-oh. Okay, let me think here. A nautical theme? Yes. yes. I'm down with that. Yes. Okay, I'm coming. With a navy anchor. Oh, my goodness. Um, so all... what do you think? Should we do white top <laughs> navy anchor or um, navy top white anchor? What do you think? Food for thought. Wow. Fish food for thought. <laughs> Kayla said we actually had oyster shells and fish in bowls for our wedding rehearsal. No <laughs> way! Love it. That's right. Own Ms. it, baby! Mr. Krabs has a daughter who's a well who's also named Pearl. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. I, I know my SpongeBob. Oh, um, yeah. Pearl is good, right? I like Pearl. Okay, so what do you think? Navy top, white anchor. Maybe I should do white top. I'm thinking white top, navy anchor. But you tell me. What do you guys, what do you want to see? Tell me, white top, navy anchor, or navy white anchor? There you go, Debbie. I don't what do you know. think? Somebody's what do you hear? Somebody's asking want to see the red. What do you we think? We only have one red right now. Um, it's we can from, do that tomorrow night. It's red delicious. Uh, yep. The, um, Let me think. Garnet red is one of the colors that didn't make the cut, but will be rejoining us a little bit later on. So what do you think? Should I go with navy? Last call. Navy white anchor or white anchor navy? They're saying white top navy yep. anchor. Let's do it. White top navy anchor. White top. Uh, yeah, Tammy, uh, the brushes, we have another order in, but they take time because, as we were saying, they're handmade. Right. In Holland. So, there you go. In Holland! Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> All right. That's so bad. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and give this a nice white top. All right. I think it'll be good too because if we go dark on the top it'll match up with the um, heaviness of the bottom right with the darker color on the bottom okay. so I think you guys made a good choice okay okay yep okay okay yep 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 okay 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 there we go mm. so what's everybody up to today it is what Saturday oh man Kayla I'd be right if I had that last name combination I would be destroying people at restaurants <laughs> say they have hard times they go to restaurants <laughs> they think they're joking. Oh, we, we would kill it. Uh, too funny. Yeah. I love it. Either way, Sonia both will be really nice. I am going to sing all the answers. Uh, so do you, You're going to sing everything? Do you prep the wood at all? No, we just cleaned it with crud cutter tonight. Yeah, and then go ahead. I need that dude's number to hurry him up. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me, Work faster! Yeah, well, let me tell you something. He'll yell at you and... Uh, He'll yell at you in Dutch and hang up abruptly. <laughs> it's worth the wait. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. I promise as soon as it comes in, you guys will know immediately, right? Make sure you subscribe because um, I send out notifications through our, um, through our messenger system so you know our Facebook. You can message us if you ever need us through uh, the website. It comes to our email or directly by emailing us at gmail, sorry, jumpmonkeypaint at gmail.com. That's the two best ways to get a hold of us if you ever need to get in touch. But through our Facebook page, um, it's automated. That's Mr. Pickles, right? You guys know. So um, if you ever want to subscribe to, live, to subscribe to Live Alerts, you need to let him know. So you go over to Facebook and you just type in the word live and you're good to go, okay? <laughs> CC said my father was Dutch on her words. <laughs> she knows words. Hey, Dino, what's going on? Uh, this is our vintage white. If you want to see our colors, head over to jumpmonkeypaint.com. You can see them all there. Yep. So we're doing a 15-day paint challenge. We're going through every single one of our 15 most popular colors. So the first night, let's see. First night we did, who was with us? Roll call. Who was with us night one or watched on replay when we uh, showcased the antique lace? We did that when we were up in Wisconsin and we paired it with sea glass milk paint for the drawers, right? So who was on for mm -hmm. that one? Mm -hmm. Then let's see, night two, what was the color we used night two? We did our signs, right? We did our B signs and we showcased black velvet, right? Who was black here and watched? Velvet. Don't make me start singing black velvet by yeah. Lana's Miles and the screw yeah, up the lyrics, that's okay? Why, that's why I sang it like blue velvet because I don't like that color. Oh, okay. And he tells me I sing the words wrong anyhow. So anyway, teach their own, right? 
happiness comes in all forms. But anyway, there you go. So this is Black Velvet. Not when you sing wrong. I should be wrong on that lyrics. show. There's a show that says like I, something yeah. about you know yeah, finish the lyrics. lyrics. Finish lyrics. I would be terrible. I would be terrible. Okay. Absolutely well, thank terrible. Thank you very much, Johnny. <laughs> So, uh, so that was uh, night two was Black Velvet. Night three, which was last night, we did the Midnight Blue. That was the ladder. The ladder. Do you want to show them the bottom of the ladder over there? That was oh, the Midnight the ladder, Blue. Yeah, yeah with yeah. the blessed sign on it. The yeah. ladder that was outside. There you go. I feel like a little kid that's been out playing at the beach all day. Because I feel like, you know, when like nine o'clock rolled around, you got real sleepy. Yeah. That's the way I feel, but I got to go home and shave the dog <laughs> furry dog yes i gotta shave the furry dog right. and then give him an oatmeal coconut bath i think i'm just gonna leave this with one coat guys because i'm gonna do it distress style right so i'm gonna leave it for that right there all right but i love it so far what do you guys think so now here is where we do some distressing all right let's make sure that the maybe dry a little bit more we let it air dry but there's some places that we need to Completely dry here at the Smoky Coal. Who loves this color? Who's in love with it? Just sure. use it. Who loves it? Boom, boom, boom. So this is our featured color tonight. Oh, look at all that stuff I missed right here. Huh, now that I have it up high. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, I can't really see it because of the glare. I wouldn't get it. Mm. Because somebody will want to buy this. And, uh, <laughs> Kaylee says, the dog will love it. Not our dog. Our dog is like 190 years old in dog sure years, is. yeah. And he doesn't want to be clean. He doesn't want to back in the water. Yeah, he doesn't want to do anything. <laughs> you mess with him unless you're petting him or he's going to bed. He doesn't want to be messed with. And if you mess with him, you're uh, how do I want to say? You you are a nuisance to him. Yes. <laughs> yes. But he like needs this thing. Mutt scrub Damon Oats from Deco Exchange. Mutt scrub? Mutt scrub. I don't know. Oh, mutt scrub? I've never I, heard of that. I, I, I didn't. Is no, it even on said, here? No, that was uh, Kay Louise from Aqua said that. I've never heard of that. Oh, uh, he's a Chinese crested, but he's a powder puff. So he has hair. It's like one of those hairless dogs, but instead they have hair. Yeah. Yeah. One in every loop. He was by a rescue. Like, God love him. Like, what, what, what? Oh, here. Yeah, that's oh, okay. It's dry. Yeah, I, I touched mm -hmm. white peanut. No big deal. Oh. No buggy, because I've got in my hand the power of the distressing tool, which is a lovely medium grit sand pad. These are my favorite ones I use. They're on our website if you want to grab one, the same ones I use. All right, so my trick is, and thinking about that, if there's any places where maybe my fingers touched, guys, you know what I'm going to do? That's the first place I'm going to distress. Right. And boom, we are gone, right? If you want to apply to become a retailer, uh, just go to our website, jumpmonkeypaint.com, and click become a retailer. Um, Lori, yeah, he has joint pains. He has bad hips. His hips are, like, bad. Um, I give him glucosamine, but he, he, like, is a total pain in the butt trying to give him anything. Unless it's uh, chicken anytizer, so. <laughs> yeah, he, he's, an, he's an old man. Yes. Oh, Damon sells all types of dog supplies. Oh, I never knew that. I didn't know that. I just knew the ribbons and yeah. that stuff. You see? Uh -huh. you, you talk to a guy and you think you know him and then, you know, somebody you know. comes on here and obviously you don't. Yeah, that's the funny thing, Laurie. He's not real into peanut butter. It has to be barbecue chicken anytizers or he ain't taking it. Yeah, honey barbecue. Honey barbecue. Mm hmm Yes. All right, guys. What do you think? Do you like it? You see the distressing? Hopefully you can see it from there. Because if Matt can come, like, maybe take two steps Our closer. paint sticks to fake, do you fake see that? wood. Look how pretty that is, right? And it sticks hard to fake wood. There we go. So I'm giving it a nice distress. This is freshly painted, right? So the longer you let this set for, obviously, but the basically the closer in the period of time that you distress to when you just put the paint on and it just dried is the best way to, if you want to do some distressing and you don't really want to have to go, you know, to get it off. Because the paint is still working, even though it's dry to the touch, we know in the first 24 hours is when it really cures, right? So it sucks into all the wood pores and does its job. So if you ever know you want to do distressed stuff, do it right after you freshly paint because it's going to be much easier for the sand pad to grab it and take it off. And you have to do less work, right, with your muscles. So 
I'm gonna come down to the front here because we will relax it. Oh, this is yeah, horrible, we could. Isn't it? Yep, we'll I'm see gonna, what happens. I'm gonna put my bum bum in there. What? <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna do the edges and stuff. You notice how I done the rungs? Anytime you do distressing, you always wanna do it on the areas where it would naturally distress, right? Edges right here where people would put their fit, feet, uh -huh. right? On the edges over here. And I'm gonna do a little bit on the sides as well, just because I like that worn look. Love that, go all across the top. All right, now I'm, we just painted that with one layer, and I am sanding this with a new sand block that I just took out, right? If I really wanted to make this, um, if I wanted to do more distressing, um, then I really had to push a little bit harder, but I'm not necessarily going to put distressing in here, right? Distressing wouldn't happen on here necessarily in the center. It would be more or less around the edges that you're going to see a lot of it. But if you want to add some down, you can. But I am going to do one more thing first Aunt before Julie's I add some Everybody more. Everybody say hi, Aunt Julie. Hey, Aunt Julie from Newfoundland. Is she in Clarenville today? I wonder. She's always on the go, right? You guys think I'm always on the go? You should be my Aunt Julie. She's always on the go. All right, got good genes, right? Lots of energy. Yeah. Haley, <laughs> Haley says she now gets the sanding to polish. I did it. I did it. She gets the what? The sanding to polish. How do you polish? Yeah, the right. Yeah. It just knocks off any impurities. You know, uh, for whatever reason, tell me why uh, flies like paint or anything like that. But it just gives you a nice um, flat surface, right? It's beautiful. Ottawa's in the house. Hey, Ottawa. All right, That's so. Key. I'm thinking you guys made an amazing choice of doing the white, vintage white and the um, midnight blue for the bottom. Whew. Managed to fly out some more grit there. All right. Let me find my... Do you remember this one right over here, guys? Let me find it. It was... You know what I'm talking about. My little anchor. Yay, right? He would be the perfect size. So I clicked. I have a bunch of books of these that are full of all kinds of stencils. And I just pull them out when I need them. They lay flat. This They're is, awesome. This is our chalky uh, style paint in a bit. Yep. All right. And so now I'm going to use our, what do I do with my handy dandy paint key on our website as well. Julie, your Aunt Julie says hey. Hey, Aunt Julie. All right. The brushes this are not... This is not a go, Aunt Julie. This, one, this one's in honor of you, okay? In Newfoundland, all okay, right? Okay, this is the last time I'm saying it. Take the girl off the, the island. The Klingon brushes are not in because they're handmade. Yeah, they're coming. He is making them. As soon as we get them, I mean, as soon as we open that box, we will put an alert out if you're subscribed to us. Yeah. And you'll be the first to know. And if you need to subscribe to us, go to junkmonkeypaint.com and sign up for newsletters. Go to our Facebook, yeah. Go to our Facebook, our Facebook yep. page. All right, come over. We'll do some dead, dead, dead. Well, yeah, this is right here at the top of our Facebook page. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and take our Midnight Blue and our Shabby dead, Chip dead, Brush. Dead, 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 dead. I've done this in distressed fashion. Dead. I don't want this dead, stencil dead. to look perfect. Dead, dead, dead. I don't think anything is perfect. And uh, let's dead, be honest, dead, life dead, happens dead, even dead, to furniture. Dead, dead. So, you know what? It's okay dead. to just go with it. Dab. Yes, Carol, we saw it. We're going to go dab it up in a minute. Dab, 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 dab. There we go. Dab, 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 dab. Okay. Uh, we will give you the link to the stencil book. It's on our, uh, on our yeah. live from last night. Um, B stencil came from Maison de Stencils. The rest of the stencils are a conglomeration of Hobby Lobby and Wally World. Yep. And all kinds of stuff. You got Bam. it. Bam. So nice. That navy really, like really um, works with the base. Again, ask me. Just go ahead. Ask you what? Just ask me. Sonia, will you go and will you be washing your stencil? And do you know what my answer is? Big, fat, no. Okay? <laughs> so I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to throw it back into my stencil book and that is all is to it. Okay? Because I got no time to be washing stuff in the sink, hanging it out to dry. Listen, I got a hard enough time trying to do my own laundry let alone washing stencils, okay? So, true story. But if you really ever want to clean your uh, plastic stencils, get a little bit of crud cutter, that, the same stuff that you're using to clean your furniture, and it's amazing, and it'll take the paint off your stencils as well, okay? Yeah. Let me dry that real fast. So, and... uh, Nancy Modell says she found Smarties at her local market in California. Smarties? Yeah. Oh, I love me some Smarties. Well, Smarties down here are different from your Smarties. Yeah. Smarties down here are little wrappers, and they're... They're like little, the little parts that we know yep. from Halloween trick-or-treating. 
Yeah. Explain to them what your Smarties are. They're, um, they're like M&Ms. They're like big M&Ms, aren't they? Only flatter. Yeah. With a very, very light shell on them. They're multicolored, and they have a milk chocolate inside of them. Yeah, they're and like the a big... And the best thing was to, like, take Smarties, put them in your mouth, and you suck on the Smartie, and you could actually literally chip away at the shell, and you'd be left with this little... Anybody ever done that on here? Yes. Sonia's um, from Newfoundland. And then you'd have, like, that little chocolate interior. Right, so good. So, true story, Matt actually moved to Newfoundland and lived up there in Canada with me uh, for a few years before we moved back to the U.S. here. And at that time, he would say to me stuff like, this doesn't taste like whatever, right? The Mountain same Dew. brands. Mountain Dew, 7-Up, all these things. Pepsi. Where you'd say, Pepsi. It's this really doesn't taste therapy. the same, right? Yeah. And I'm like, you're out of your mind, okay? What's 7-Up down there is 7-Up up here. I mean, seriously, it's the same, it's the same company, right? Not necessarily. So, um, I, I took back all the years that I'd be like, you are insane in the brain. You're just imagining things. <laughs> Leave it to the wife to tell the husband those things. Mm. Um, and then I moved to the U.S. and tried it. And I'm like, I tried things that I knew that I was familiar with. And I'm like, what the heck? It doesn't taste the same, right? Anybody else ever notice that? that just because it's the same brand name does not mean that it's actually the same, right? Because it's probably just made with two different factories on both sides of the border. Mm. What do you think? Well, I find this, this, I found all the drinks in Newfoundland, especially 7-Up. Actually, 7-Up was my favorite soda. Yeah. I remember, I quit drinking it up there because it was too syrupy. Yes, I remember you did. Yeah. Compared to down here, yeah. Yeah. So it's all in what you know, right? Yeah. So what do you guys think of that? Do you like it? Pretty cool, right? And then all we would have to do is just go ahead and seal it. Um, so I'm gonna show you, well, I mean, for something like this, this would be to me, unless this is gonna go in your corner and look cute, and maybe you're gonna use it and you're gonna put like a lamp on it or um, you know, a little candle holder or something like that. Like Matt said, a piece like this to me would be high traffic, right? Because the butt's gonna go on here, feet are gonna go on here on the rungs, and they're gonna get pushed and pulled, maybe knocked over, all this good, you know, wonderful fun that happens in the kitchen, the heart of the home. So on this uh, particular piece, I would actually encourage you to use a polycrylic, okay? Or at least some form of a water-based poly. Let me see if I can find mine real quick. Clara, I know Big Red, we have uh, we have a variant of that here. It was a local one called uh, Cherokee Red, and it was a red pop. And uh, actually, when I was in Texas, I found Big Red, and it was like almost the exact same. So, and he... No, Lori, no shimmer. Give it up, Lori. <laughs> so this is my polycrylic, which um, has been through the warm back. But it keeps on giving, right? I buy polyacrylic by um, the big gallons. You guys just need to get it a little, like, honestly, by the quart. Um, if you go to places, like, the, the cheapest place I've ever seen this stuff is at Walmart. So if you have a Wally World next to you, as Matt likes to say. Um, if you go to your local Walmart and go to the hardware section, they have the uh, quart sizes, which still goes a very long way for usually around $16.67. Sometimes you even uh, get it on sale for like $13. So if you see that, grab it, nab it, and keep it in your painting kit. But it comes in, it starts off at matte, that's the sheen of it, or like how shiny it's gonna be. So it's M-A-T-T-E, then it goes to satin, then it goes to uh, semi-gloss and high gloss. So in this case here, I'm trying to make this piece look time-worn and already like it's seen years of use, right? We know old furniture is not shiny, so that's why I'm gonna encourage you to go with a matte or a satin, that would probably be the highest sheen. Now, if you're somebody out there who says, Sonia, I love your paint, and I love how you don't have to you know, sand or prime or strip it or any of that nonsense, and you can go on and you can make something beautiful, but I don't necessarily Polycrylic. want to do distressed, yeah. then just paint it, polish it with a very, very soft grit, like maybe a 220, just enough to polish it a little bit, right? You're not looking for that heavy grit sand pad that I use to rip off the actual um, paint and then seal it, but seal it in like that semi-gloss uh, or the high gloss because chances are if you don't want anything distressed, you want like a new furniture more or less look, right? You want that just completely renewed, nice, classic, modern look. So that's when you go to like the higher, um, the higher sheens, right? Wadi, what the wadi, water-based polycrylics do not yellow over time. It's the oil ones that will do that, okay? There you Angela go. Angela Colvin Keene says, my husband, husband keeps telling me, I'm addicted and painting everything. I tell him Junk Monkey paint. You okay one, over there? I'm sorry. I tell him JMP once one piece at a time. What you need, what you need to do is you need to walk Aww, in there. That's so awesome. You need like to put on a robe, carrying a carrying a can of paint, going, 
Come paint with us. Yeah, right? Yes, join us. <laughs> Women paint everywhere holding paint cans and, yes. and robes. I can totally paint see this now. Yes. yes. Be like, um, what's her name on, oh my gosh, what's that one that's love and marriage? What's the name of that um, sitcom? I didn't watch it, but you watched it. You introduced me to it. Which one? It's got the guy and the girl with the big, the lady with the big hair. That's the Married with Children. Married yeah. with Children. Okay, I didn't watch that growing up. Uh, Matt did. Foam um, brush for Polly. It leaves bubbles. Yes. Bubbles. No good. Yes. My fa I'll post my favorite um, angled, um, soft and flowy brush when I get off of here. This is one of my favorites, but it's not my true favorite, but it's basically the same style. You can see I've been using it forever, and I just keep cleaning it and keep ripping it out and using it. Um, but yeah, what I was going to say is the whole uh, Mary with Children thing, so you can just be like that. You know, there was a time that, what was his wife's name? Peg. Peg with the bed with stakes in her pockets, right, so her husband would pay attention to her, so... Give it ideas there now based on Matt's idea of the uh, whole uh, paint can in a robe, right? We'll take it to a whole new level. But yeah, right, so uh, when you... How do you clean it? Do you mean clean it after you poly it? Probably uh, the brush she means, I'm thinking. Oh, yeah. Just... Use the same brush cleaner that you have on our website. It's the Little White Lie or the Big Fat Lie. They're made for uh, washing water-based um, water brushes and What's stuff, right? What's up, Donna? Donna says, sorry so late, right? Yeah. And, um, um, oh my gosh. I can't think of her name. She By the way, I got me. some Polly tips. Don't let me forget. She's going to kill me. Um, Alabama's checking in late tonight, so. Okay. No Alabama yells for you guys tonight. Because you're, cause <laughs> you're, you're tardy. You're tardy. So you get, like, detention. <laughs> yes. Uh-oh, they're going to have to redeem themselves tomorrow night, right? So, a lot of you guys, maybe this is a good, good place to talk about uh, Polly questions, right? Because... You, you've seen me talking about waxing. Waxing is pretty easy, right? You wax on, you buff off, you're good to go. But when you're working on things like high traffic pieces, that's when you want to break out the poly, and that's what we're doing tonight. But poly is a few things you need to know about it, okay? So it's a little bit different than a wax. When I wax on, you see me go over the same spot that I just waxed, making sure I'm pushing all those, uh, all the wax and oils down to close off the wood pores. When you work with Polly, I'm going to give you my, a few of my best tips, okay? So write these down. Keep them in your brain. They'll be a all right? Test on yes, it. Yeah, yeah. tomorrow night, all right? So, uh, first tip is use a soft and flowy brush. If you use a hard bristle brush, um, it can rip your paint, okay? You got to go soft and flowy, something that you would use on your face, okay? When I say soft and flowy, think about those brushes that you find that you feel like you could put them up to your face and they're almost like a blush brush, like you're like, ooh, this is so soft, right? That's the kind of brush you want to use when you're putting on this water-based poly because um, you want it to spread out and give you all coverage, okay? Remember like the shabby chip brush? When you use those, we use those with paint to get a distressed effect because the bristles are so um, hard, they spread apart when you spread the paint down and it, they don't give you full coverage, which is what we're looking for. But when you're putting on poly, you want overall coverage, right? You don't want to see the parts where you missed. So use a nice full brush like that to do it, okay? Next tip. Don't put too much on your brush. Remember, your paint can be reactivated, okay? And especially if you're polying right, polying right after when you've just freshly painted your piece. So what you want to do, ideally, now me, I'm experienced enough that I, I know what I need to do, okay? And I'm following this tip, these tips right now as I'm working through this piece. But if you're going to use poly, one of the things that I think will really help you out is you give it that full 24 hours for your paint to cure first, okay? Because then you give it a chance for the paint to really sink into the wood pores. Because what can happen is your paint can be reactivated if you put too much on your brush. So go light, okay, after 24 hours Bass. with a flowy brush all over. Never go back over the same parts that you just polyed, okay? Because poly sets up. And if you're going to take your brush and go back over the same areas, so you can't act with it like a wax brush. That With wax, you can go over it. With poly, you can't, okay? So you're going to go less is more, because the more you put on your piece, the more uh, white and murky and milky it can look, okay? Soft brush, but also go two light coats. So put your light coat over. Don't go back over the same area that you just brushed. Otherwise, you're going to reactivate your paint, and your paint's going to pull off. Okay, and uh, so do your light coat. Think about that first coat that you get on as being like a freeze frame for your piece. 
then you can build up another layer on top of that, okay? Once it dries, just go right at it again. But I think those are probably my best tips uh, to help you guys with poly, but practice makes perfect. Um, so don't be alarmed if, you, if you're using a brush that's really not soft, you're going over it, you're going over it when your paint's too fresh. Those sorts of things, you'll see drag marks um, when you put it on, right? And poly, you know, poly is, uh, you know, it's a chemical-based, uh, even though it's water-based, it's made with chemicals, right? So it's strong stuff. So you don't want to be um, constantly painting over your paint, whether it's milk paint or anything, because it's strong and it can reactivate. And before you know it, things are coming back to life when you just laid your paint down and you thought you had it just perfect, right? You could also roll on your poly. That will help um, to um, help you get a nice, even coverage as well. Make sense? You guys have any other questions? Let me know. Yes, okay. you have questions. Let me go back here. Let me go back here. Yep. Emerald says, I painted a table with black velvet today after distressing using poly. It left some white spots. Can you tell me what I did wrong? Yes. You probably had a little bit too much. Remember how I just said that uh, even though the poly is clear, if you don't put on a light coat, there's a thickness there that gathers and it actually can make it look like a white color, right? Mm -hmm. Plus, if you do backstrokes over what you just polyed, it stirs it up and you, before you know it, you have these streaks that can happen across as well, right? Um, so when you put poly on, even just like doing your, your one stroke down with a nice flowy, if you can even do a wide brush when you poly, because that will mean it'll cover more area with just fewer brush strokes, right? So that's a good thing as well to do. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the compliment, Cynthia. I won't tell it to Sonia because she's allergic to compliments. Her head swells up. Thanks. Anyways, uh, let me see here. Uh, if you want to, that's why go... I wear a head wrap so I can hold it all inside. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you didn't think I'd have a comeback, did you? <laughs> Judy, what do you? You got a raspberry. That was my comeback. Judy, uh, <laughs> what do you use for outside piece like coffee side table? Wax or poly, you definitely want a poly. Yes. And if you don't want it to yellow, you can use poly acrylic, but you're going to have to do several layers. Yeah. And if you're choosing a dark color for outside, that's a great way then when you can get away for like an oil base. Yeah. Oil bases and exterior polys are made to like yes. withstand temperatures, changes, moisture, all these things that happen outside that don't happen inside, right? Yeah. So if you can go dark in color for the outside or darker color, not like whites or creams or anything that gets dirty, that sort of thing, or shows... Yeah shows things easily, but uh, the same company, uh, Minwax, also makes an oil-based one. I think it's in a gold and silver can. It's an oil-based one, right. and that's what I use. So You I want to stay that. away from sponge rollers to roll on poly. You want to use a low nap brush if yes. you're going to roll poly on. Um, if you use foam or a, or a cheap uh, roller, you're going to have bubbles. bubbles. And they also seem to skid. You ever notice that when you put on... Um, a foam roller, they, they skid, right? They can get out from underneath you and you just, before you know it, it's like the sponge is not even moving. It's just seemed like it just like, Sliding. yeah, it slides, right? right? The so, bottom yeah. is smoky cold. The top is vintage white and the anchor is midnight blue. Yep. I have a huge spool. Can I paint over the tar on it? Yes. All right. And you got to move fast. That was pretty anticlimactic, wasn't it? And you got to um, move fast and go back over, look at what you just painted. Because what happens is um, there might be places where gravity happens. You put your poly on and you move to the next place. But the poly starts to like move. And um, before you know it, it looks like you've got like white poly collected in areas. So always like be willing to like look back over what you just did so you can try to get those places. There you go. Did I get something on the top of that? Look at that. That's okay. You are so I touched messy. something. What did you do? I like how you say that. What did you do? Well, I don't get to do it often, so when I do Prices it, I take, avert it. take uh, there we go. great pleasure in it. I know you do. You <laughs> are, like I say, I'm a blessed woman. Cindy said, I'm first time watching woman. Minwax Factory is in the town where she lives. Really? Yes. How cool is that? Tell them to give us free stuff. I should work for Minwax. <laughs> I bet you this came off my hand. It did look, because I got stuff on my hand. I'm doing it again. All right, no worries. It's Polly, right? It's already Polly. So all I gotta that'll do. be your new nickname. What's that? Pigpen. Thank you, Matt. <laughs> he's so bad. You see how he's picking on me tonight? You see what happens? I don't get beer often. Yeah, right? All right, look, I touched it again. <laughs> oh my I spilled liquid laundry detergent. I'm going to wash my hands. Oh my gosh. I spilled Give me a second. <laughs> Give me a moment.
You won't hear me. <laughs> oh, you're talking to me? Yes. All right, I hear you. Go, go, go. All right, question came in. Okay. I spilled liquid laundry detergent on a piece of wood. Can I paint over it? Liquid laundry detergent on a piece of yeah, wood? Yeah, that would, that would, that would uh, discolor it and stuff. I would try, if you can, to hand sand it, that area, and then repaint it. Is it just raw wood? Yeah, Susan says, stop touching the tabletop. Yeah, tell me about it, right? Come slap my hands. All right, let me, uh, let me go put a little bit of water so you can off. Oh. Hot mess express. Yeah, see what I gotta put up with? You guys think it's all glamorous. You think it's all great, but no. Choo choo! I have to deal with Hot this. Hot mess express coming through again. Should you sand over it if right. you get white bubbles? Can you yes. sand? Over? I would suggest sanding that area. Yeah, absolutely. Pa yeah. There we go. All right. all right. So I'll let this dry and I'll go over it again with another uh, coat of poly because remember, this is a piece that's gonna get lots yeah, it's of It's gonna get right? my bum bum right on top of it. Lots. Of you, all right. So there we go. What do you guys think? Do you like it? You think? Yeah, I love it. All right. So once again, follow me over here tonight for hanging out with us. This is like our customer appreciation week as we have fun demonstrating all the fun, um, most popular colors that you guys have picked from our website. The top 15 colors tonight was brought to you by the color midnight blue. And of course, vintage white on the top and smoky coal. So uh, tonight we have for our giveaway for one lucky person who hung out with us, hung out and chatted with us while we were here live. Matt's gonna holler it out in just a second. This is a head wrap, just like I'm wearing in fun spring colors. It's brand new. And I'm gonna say this one more time before we announce the name because I wanna make sure we're all good to go. All you have to do if your name is about to be announced is email us. Email us at junkmonkeypaint at gmail.com. You have to pull up an email Email us at junkmonkeypain at gmail.com and do it before midnight tonight, okay? And then like do a happy dance within your email, send us your address and all that fine stuff, okay? And will the real person please stand up because you guys know about all that wonderfulness that happens on the interweb. So, all right, there we go. So, tonight's winner is yes. Crystal Demarest from Ohio. Yay, Crystal! How do you spell her name just so I know? Crystal. C-R-Y-S-T-A-L. Okay. Demarest. D E M O R E S T. All right. Just like the genie's name from Wishmaster. <laughs> okay. You would know that. Yes. Absolutely. No, Vicky. Right. You don't get a roll tie tonight. You guys are late. Uh oh. Gotta be in the good mask. Good grace. I done told you guys. All right. So here we are. <laughs> it is day four. We are now concluded. So tomorrow we'll start back over. We'll do our day five. We'll get that ready. We'll meet back here tomorrow evening, same time. If, if same you didn't win, listen. Cave. Listen. If you didn't win and you email us, we do the big old ban and delete. Ban hammer. You know why? Because we get so many yeah. emails, business related questions, things like that. Yeah. We don't have time to mess with all the yes. all the foolishness. Silliness. All right. Yes. So email us at junkmonkeypaint at gmail.com, Crystal. All right. Before midnight tonight, Eastern Standard Time. Before midnight. All right. We're gonna get out of your hair. All Enjoy right, it. Guys. Find something to paint. We'll see you tomorrow, okay? Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> ah, Bye! 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 Bye